I think what's really incredible is this entire team that's been building this spacecraft for years is saying, you know, we've done it. You're dealing with a idea of what the spacecraft should look like, and it's a pretty darn good idea, right? But you still haven't built it yet. And so this is, this is really the first build. This is the, the first flight unit. We've started from scratch. We've built an entire new spacecraft with an entire new team and, and people that have never worked in this particular design before. We've, we've taken a design and we've built it. Anytime you build something by hand, and it's a hand-built spacecraft, it's not something built on an assembly line somewhere, then this thing's got heart and soul to it, you know? A lot of blood, sweat, and tears. It's not like Boeing's other products, like, a, like an aircraft. Um, you know, where we churn out 16 a week or something. We are building serial number one. It's never been built. Nobody's built it. There is no book. I don't think people understand that. I've never seen a mixture of skills and uh, experience that Boeing has right now. Going to space is a big deal. It takes, you know, the best and the brightest, and we're trying to build Chris Ferguson the best machine we can. If it's not built right, why did, why did we build it? When we do get into space flight, we don't have any concerns. Is that part going to work? Is that component installed correctly? Because we know it is. There's been a call for the commercialization of space, and that's something that we at Boeing here are really working towards. Columbia was, was processed here, and then Discovery later on spent almost all its time here. And now we've built the first commercial crew vehicle in this same building. So that's a great legacy. This is a commercially owned vehicle. It is not just for astronauts. It's not just a transport to the ISS. It's people taking their families up to some space hotel. I want this vehicle, you know, this program to be representative of that turning point. It's a space race and we're going to come out on top. So it may appear that we're, we're maybe going a little slower at the moment, but we're taking our time. And when we cross the finish line, it's going to be complete and it's going to work. It's not just about putting people back in space. It's, it's putting the country back together. It's a privilege to work on this stuff. And I'm, and I'm proud to do it. And I'm going to stay with it until I see her go. A few more things to button up. and You can fly it.